Hi, it's Anthony Anarino, and this is Every Day. And I want to talk to you about an idea that I am full hot on right now, and it's the external locus of control or an internal locus of control. And let me explain what that means. There are really two choices available to you as frames that you use to look at life through, whether it's your business results, your personal results, or whatever the case may be. And the first one that most people choose is an external locus of control. And what this means is they think that the reason they have the results that they're producing now in any area of their life is something external. So there's always someone or something else responsible for the lack of having the result that they want. And it starts with things like the economy's terrible. And I still hear people say that even though we're closing in on a $19 trillion economy in the United States, the largest economy in the world and the largest economy in the known universe with more opportunity than at any time in history. Or they say things like, it's the president, President Obama or President-elect Trump or somebody else is responsible. Or maybe it's Congress. If it wasn't for Congress, you know, things would be better. So these are external things that you have zero control over. They'll also say things like, it's my manager's fault that I don't have the results I want, or it's my territory, or it's my customers, they just don't understand the value that we create, or it's my competitors, they always beat us on price and there's no way to compete against that. And they say things like that as if they're true facts when they're not true facts, they're just what somebody believes. Or they'll go even further back and say, you know, I was born poor, I didn't have great parents, I didn't go to college, whatever it is, but there's something outside of their control that causes them not to have the results that they want. And the second choice you can make is to have an internal locus of control and say, everything is my fault. And I know that doesn't strike people as a great thing to say, and you might not be uh, warm and fuzzy about that kind of a sentiment, but it's true. Every result that you're producing is solely up to you, whatever it is, whether it's in business, whether it's personally, whatever it is, it's inside your control, or at least it helps to believe that even when it's not. And let me explain what I mean. You can't do anything about the economy, but you can do something about how you respond to a bad economy. There are people who make more money in down economies because they go out and determine more people need help and they find a way to do something interesting. You can't do anything about the president, but there are people who find a way to start businesses and grow those businesses regardless of who the president is. That's just a choice that they've made. And you can't do anything about Congress. You may not be able to do anything about your manager, but you can look at this and say, they get to give me what they give me, but I get to choose how I respond to it, what actions I take and what I believe about it. And the same is true with your customers. You're not gonna have a set of customers that aren't difficult and that don't throw challenges your way. The reason that you get paid is for helping people solve their problems. That's the part of the value that you create. So you have to look at this and say, I'm empowered to do something and you can. And even if you think your competitors beat you on price far too often, you have to remember there are salespeople who learn how to justify the delta between their price and their competitor's price, who win business and competitively displace those competitors regularly. They believe that everything is in their control. And there are people who believe that they can succeed without the college degree, or they can go back to night school and do something to educate themselves that they want. So this decision that you have to make about whether you're going to say, everything is my fault and I can do something about it. That customer, for example, is a difficult customer because I didn't manage their expectations early enough. Okay, cool, I can do something about that. Or this competitor is always winning on price. Since I know that, I can build a plan to defeat them by getting in early and explaining the difference so when they see that lower price, that the client is afraid of it. These are decisions that you can make. If you have a choice to make between an external locus of control and an internal, and you do, make the choice to be empowered and to say everything is my fault and I'm empowered to do something about it. This is a big idea. It's an important idea. It's the kind of idea that if you make this decision and you act on it, will change your life. This is Anthony Anarino. This is Every Day. Hit the subscribe button wherever that is on the screen. Go out to thesalesblog.com. When you're there, sign up for the newsletter, and I will see you back here tomorrow.